Hello and welcome! In this video, we will take a closer look at a rather different mechanical keyboard from Logitech. That's right, PopKeys is a stylish mechanical keyboard for people who don't want to mess around with switches and keycaps. Let me explain. You might be asking, what is the point in having a mechanical keyboard which cannot be modified? First, let's look at the design. With PopKeys, Logitech went all out and is clearly aimed at Gen Z with its colorful and eye-catching design. It features rounded keycaps and total of 96 keys with typical Logitech imprinting for both Windows and Mac, which is nice to see. Essentially, very similar to MX Keys Mini in terms of four-factor and key layout with one exception, emoji key column, but more on that in a bit. And yes, I do use it on both platforms and switching works flawlessly. Speaking of switching, you can pair it with up to three devices. It works similar to MX Keys and MX Keys Mini, which means switching in between devices is fast and easy. Logitech went for retro aesthetics with pop keys and I think it works rather well. In some color finishes, it does remind me of old 90s keyboard or even a maybe a typewriter. Speaking of colors, instead of usual boring silver and gray, you can choose from three different styles. Daydream is a combination of yellow, white, mint and lilac, which make this keyboard look like some sort of candy, which is definitely cool. Blast is the one I went for. This color finish feels the most retro of the bunch and combines black, gray and this arcade-like yellow. In my view, this could be the only one I would not look weird while in the office, for example, but that's just my opinion. Definitely a blast from the past. And of course, it has this cool looking gold escape key. I mean, can it get any better than this? Heartbreaker. This neon red color combo looks stunning, but you would really have to match it to your existing desk setup, which I have not seen many in this color tone lately. However, if you decided to go with this one, you will definitely stand out. In the end, the design and the color are both very subjective, therefore it's good that Logitech offers three choices to pick from. One thing I do miss is the backlit. I wish Logitech would have added a backlit, since Capsule already has the LED. Real shame. Also, if you notice, typing angle cannot be adjusted, so that's something to keep in mind. Okay, so just a quick disclaimer. You will see many Logitech products in this video. However, I'm not sponsored by Logitech and I bought all these products for my own money to make this video possible. I just happen to like some of their products. Right, so what about everyday use? I have already reviewed MX Keys and MX Keys Mini. They're both low profile keyboards with scissor switches and they work very well for productivity and coding. This one, however, surprised me. Typing on this keyboard feels surprisingly good, but it won't satisfy anyone who is really into mechanical keyboards. Pop Keys uses TTC brown switches, which ensure this rather satisfying typing noise. Have a listen. Now, I'm not sure if this is just me, but I find it very difficult to type on. I think that perhaps partially caused by the round shapes of the keys, which might resemble a cool typewriter look, but lack of practicality really kills the joy. Also, there are no pass-through ports, nor there is an included palm rest. Instead, you will get four replaceable emoji keycaps. Yes, that's right. Logitech believes that these will be essential for getting your attention and therefore justifies $99 or euros of which this keyboard costs. Now, I said before that I'm using pop keys on both platforms, but truth is, in past few months, I've only been using pop keys on Windows 4 while for gaming. And yes, I said before this keyboard is not designed for gaming, but I find it to be perfectly usable for my gaming needs. It is small, therefore I can have my hands close together there's no numpad in the way. I play both single but also multiplayer games with it and I love it. 
Therefore, in short, for weirdos like myself, this keyboard is perfectly usable for gaming. And for others, it is a great secondary gaming keyboard while on the go. I'm just sharing my real life user scenario here, but you will have to make your own call. To connect pop keys to your computer, you can either use Bluetooth or this brand new Bolt dongle from Logitech, which supports low latency standard and it essentially replaces old unified receiver. You can pair up to six devices with this and from my experience, connection is very stable and reliable. My favorite part about this product is the fact that it uses two AAA batteries. The fact that it uses replaceable batteries automatically increases longevity of this product way beyond the product with building batteries. Because as we know, batteries degrade over time and it can be expensive or even impossible to replace built-in battery. And because there is no backlit, it can last up to three years. Obviously, I haven't tested it for that long, so we will have to take Logitech word for it. For competitors, I would not like to compare this keyboard to other, let's say, proper mechanical keyboards out there. Instead, let's check out what else can you get from Logitech. Logitech MX Keys Mini. MX Keys is a low-profile keyboard for everyone, especially for people who prefer laptop-like low-key travel keyboards. It is well-built, reliable, decent battery life, and intelligent backlighting priced at $99. But since it was released in September of last year, you definitely shouldn't pay a full price for it. There's also a full-size version with numeric keyboard available for $120. I reviewed both mini and full version of this keyboard in the past. Make sure to check out those videos. Logitech MX Mechanical. Latest addition to Logitech's keyboard portfolio is Logitech MX Mechanical Mini. Priced at fairly steep $150, for a mini and $170 for a full-size version, you can get it with three different types of switches. MX Mechanical also supports same smart backlighting just like MX Keyboard. Well now, you might be thinking, hang on a minute, these two are from an MX series which is targeted on creative professionals and productivity and pop keys is a purely stylish keyboard targeting Gen Z. And you are probably right but people like to buy and use tech because they enjoy it and it fits their needs, it fits their workflow, not because it was designed for it. Therefore, it is always good to know what's available out there. And that's exactly my point. I use this keyboard for gaming, not because it was designed for gaming, but because I like to game on it. And that's exactly what this keyboard is about having fun. They all support up to three pair devices and fast switching in between them and they can all work across all major platforms. Okay, so can you actually customize this keyboard? Well, not really. But as I already mentioned, you can swap the emoji keys and you will even get some extra included with this keyboard and this handy pouch. While well, idea of having dedicated emoji keys might sound great for some people in reality experiences not that great. Trust me, I've been there accidentally hitting emoji keys instead of enter and then sending emojis in wrong conversation by accident. Yeah, I'm sure some people will miss the fact that they can't customize this keyboard even further, but that's definitely not me. I just preferred out of the box experience and this keyboard sounds great, feels great and does everything that you're looking for really. Also, Logitech offers matching $40 pop mouse, which I don't have, therefore I cannot give you my view on it, but it doesn't look very comfortable. I will stick to my MX3S. Okay, so if we just ignore the whole emoji keys parts of this product, Logitech Pop Keys is a solid, stylish keyboard for people who want something different, with good tactile feedback, recognizable stylish design and don't have time and resources for expensive professional mechanical keyboards. Pop Keys is relatively an expensive option for people who want to get started with mechanical keyboards. I hope you find this review informative. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and maybe even consider subscribing for more content like this. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.